Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to this week's newscast. So, a little friendly reminders for all of you. From March 20th to 24th, be sure to bring in your gently worn shoes. Also, Piggies for Premies ends on March 24th, so be, able, be sure to bring in your money. Now, on to the weather. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mason, and I'm here with Parker to do the weather. Friday is going to be cloudy with a high of 74, a low of 60, and a 10% chance of rain. On Saturday, it's going to be scattered without thunderstorms with a high of 69 and a low of 55 with 60% chance of rain. On Sunday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 70, a low of 51, and a 70% chance of rain. On the outside weather. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Haley here with Dylan and Kelsey for outside weather. Okay, um, whoa guys, it's finally spring, and with spring comes warm weather. Um, I prefer 50 degrees days. Um, how do you all feel about the weather, uh, of weather and spring? I love the warm weather. I can deal with spring, but I especially love summer. Yeah, me too. I really love days of the lake. Yeah, so that's all for the outside weather. Thank you. I'm Jack. I'm Chris. I'm Grant. And we're going to be going over your sports. So, Chris, what's been going on in the NBA lately? We beat OKC for the third time this season. The playoffs are coming up. Now on the March Madness. The NCAA tournament is down to the Sweet 16, and there are a couple of teams that nobody expected to be in it, and there have been a ton of upsets. Number 11, Xavier upset Florida State, 91 to 66. Number two, Duke lost to South Carolina, 88 to 81. Number two, Louisville lost to Michigan, 73 to 69. And number one, Villanova lost to Wisconsin, 65-62. After these games, no more perfect brackets remain. And to get into the Elite Eight, in the Midwest, number one, Kansas, will take on number four, Purdue. Number three, Oregon will play number seven, Michigan. And in the South, number one, North Carolina will play number four, Butler. And UCLA, third seed, will play number two, Kentucky. In the East, number eight, Wisconsin will play number four, Florida. And number three, Baylor will play number seven, South Carolina. And finally, in the West, number one, Gonzaga will play West Virginia. Number 11, Xavier, will play number 2, Arizona. Hey guys, I'm Jalen here with a few athletes, and we're going to be talking about the school sports. So, Hallie, how has softball been going? We won two games, and we lost one, and we play today and tomorrow in a tournament in Owens Well, good luck with that. And we're also here with Emma and Lily, some volleyball players. So, Emma, how did y'all seasons go? Uh, it went fairly well. We finished our, our season Tuesday. Alrighty, and Lily, what about you? Um, we won four games, and we lost four games, and we played in the tournament Monday night, and we're going to the championship. Alrighty, that's all for local sports. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Amelia here with Mary Beth and your Teacher of the Week, Ms. Winder. So what grade do you teach? I teach 8th grade. And what subject do you teach? Language arts. What's your favorite part about teaching? My favorite part of teaching is watching my kids come in every day and get better at reading and writing. And what about your favorite hobby? Um, well, I'm a mom, so I don't have a lot of time for hobbies, but I would say my favorite hobby right now is going to Target by myself, honestly. <laughs> Why is this your favorite hobby? Because it's peaceful and there's a Starbucks and that's why it's my favorite hobby. Well, thank you. Thanks, guys. Can you say I'm Steven here? No one's going to be like, oh my gosh, she's in here. Hello, right? Hey, I'm Steven. I'm here with Ella and she's our seventh grade student of the week. 
So Ella, what do you play? I play soccer and basketball. What's your favorite out of those two? Uh, probably basketball. Now that March Madness is here, what team do you have winning it all? I have Oregon. How do you feel about them getting out? Well, I don't really know. A few nights ago I was worried about them almost losing, but I guess. And that's our 7th grade student of the week. Hey guys, I'm Haley with our 8th grade student of the week, Devin Neighbors. Do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have one. His name is Andrew Neighbors, and usually we get mixed up a lot. So your twin? Yep. And who's your favorite teacher? Mr. Oliver. Why? <laughs> because he, he's funny, he makes a lot of jokes. He usually doesn't care what, what other people think. He just doesn't, goes with class. Alright, thank you. Hey guys, I'm Jalen here with Kelsey and we're back with the quote of the week. Okay, so it says, be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. So just because someone may not be the nicest to you, you don't know what they're going through. So just try your best to be a nice person. And that's all for this week. See you next week. Hey guys, I'm Kelsey here at Jaws and we're back with your how to and this week it's food again. It's a fruit kebab and it's real healthy and simple. Let's get started. Okay, to make this snack you'll need a variety of fruits and the kebab sticks. So our fruit is strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, grapes, and bananas. Okay, so you want to start off by taking your kebab stick and then getting your first piece of fruit and putting it all the way down to the, well, not all the way down, but about the middle, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you're just gonna keep adding fruit onto your kebab stick. Yep. And my final touch will be a strawberry. get the strawberry on <laughs> Okay, so that's how you make the fruit kebabs. Looks like they love it. Corey, what was your favorite part? The strawberry? That's awesome. Hey, what's up guys? As we all know, last Friday was St. Patrick's Day and a lot of people were green. So here are some teachers that definitely did not get pinched. This is the selection by Kiara Cass, and it's a really popular book, so make sure you go check it out at the Media Center. Hey guys, I'm Kelsey here Joss, and today we have some very important information. Okay, so the Spring Fling will be on March 30th, and that is a Thursday. It will start at 3.30 and end at 5.30, and for those of you that need to take the activity bus, it will be leaving at 6.00. So be sure to get your tickets. They're two dollars and they're on sale starting Tuesday, March 28th. It's gonna be fun. So that was this week's newscast and have a happy Friday. And as you go through this weekend, just remember this verse. The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. And that is Psalms 118.6. Bye.